Tonight, allegations of animal cruelty are being investigated at a horse farm on the Cape. And this all began after photos began circulating on social media. The images show a horse in a seemingly emaciated condition. WBC's Lisa Greshi has the story from Falmouth. I don't know other than pictures if I had ever seen horses in that deplorable condition. Bill Ritchie, the manager of Sterling Point Farm, is talking about two horses that he says came from Smithfield Farm, Knox and Bravo, seen here when they first arrived in August of last year. I felt sorry for them. Alex Goldman, the owner of Sterling Point Farm, says he visited Smithfield Farm. I came in to pick up a horse and I saw dirty aisleways, horses in stalls that didn't have a proper bedding, that had a lot of feces in them. The barn had tarps just covering the roof of it from leaks. The woman who sent these photos tells us she had two horses at Smithfield. On Saturday, another woman told us she took these pictures, showing the condition of miniature horses there. The MSPCA says its law enforcement department has confirmed it opened an animal cruelty investigation into the owners of the Smithfield farm. It has acted on several tips from the public that have been phoned in and has visited with the farm multiple times. After calling the owner, we went to go find her. We were met by a volunteer instead. Have you ever seen an emaciated horse here? Never. No. And I've been here now four months. Richie says Knox and Bravo were severely underweight when they arrived at Sterling. Maybe 300 pounds or more. This is Knox and Bravo now. You can see they're much happier and healthier. Richie says it was a long road to recovery. Nothing had been done to them at all. And these are big horses. These are really large horses, and they were just bones. From across the street, we saw one horse with ribs showing. The volunteer telling us the only skinny horses are the ones who arrived that way, insisting all of them are healthy. Oh, I'd ride any one of them. I have no fear of riding any one of them, and I'm 71. Richie feels at this point... I want to see some sort of action. Reporting in East Falmouth, Lisa Grashi, WBZ News.